Hey, good morning, everybody. How we doing today? This is the day that the Lord has made, and we're going to rejoice and be glad in it. I'm so excited to be alive today, so excited to have this opportunity to share God's word with you and spend 10 minutes of daily devotional time with you and share with you what uh, what God has spoken to me this day and this morning during my study time. Uh, this morning, I was led to Philippians, the third chapter, verses three through seven. And then I kind of cha-cha slid over to Jeremiah, the ninth chapter, <laughs> verse 24. And I just want to share a couple of verses with you and then just, just tell you what's on my heart and my mind today. I, I believe, I'm very confident that you're going to be blessed. Uh, key word, confident. Philippians, the third chapter, verses three through seven says this, and I'll be reading from the Amplified Version. It says, for we who are born again have been reborn from above. We've been spiritually transformed. We've been spiritually renewed and we've been spiritually set apart for his purpose. Mm. And we are the true circumcision. We're the ones who worship in the spirit of God. We're the ones who worship uh, in the glory of God. And we take pride and we exalt in Christ Jesus. Don't miss this last part. And we place no confidence mm, in what we have. And we place no confidence in who we are because we place no confidence in the flesh. Powerful, powerful verses. And then Jeremiah 9 and 24 just brings it all together for us. It says, let him who boast, boast of this. Now this is permission to boast. It's not just permission though, it's direct instructions on what we should boast about. Jeremiah 9 and 24 says, let him who boasts, boast in this that he understands and knows me and that I am the Lord. Make you want to shout if you love the Bible. God says, listen, if you're going to boast, I'm going to tell you what to boast about. If you're going to boast, I want you to be able to boast that you know me, God, mm, and that you understand me. Now, that's two different things, and both of them are powerful. And when you put them together, that's like dynamite. I want you to to boast number one that you understand me okay and then i want you to boast that you know me now this is god who our entire lives many have told us you can't know god many have told us you can't understand god and then we we misconstrue the scripture that says his ways are above our ways and god's ways are not our ways and all of that is very very true but god wants us to know him and god wants us to understand him i'm so tired of this ideology that God is this distant deity that we have to grovel to and we have to approach with great intrepidation. Don't we realize that he adopted us so that we could no longer be called servants, no longer identify ourselves as slaves, but we could once in our lives relate to and identify with him as our father with him as our family. And God is saying, if you're gonna boast, I want you to boast that you know me. I want you to boast that you understand me. So here's what I'm telling you today. We gotta move away from this ideology and this theology that you don't know God and you don't understand God. Well, that's not what the Bible says. God himself is quoted as saying, I want you to know me. I want you to understand me. And then I want you to boast about it. Now, let me bless you with something. There's a reason why God wants us to boast that we know him. There's a reason why God wants us to boast that we understand him. Because God knows that if we spend the due diligent time, if we sup with him, if we fellowship with him, if we draw close to him and he draw clo draws close to us, he knows that something's going to happen. A transaction is going to happen. The transaction that is going to happen is called Godfidence. Mm, 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 mm. What is Godfidence? I'll tell you what Godfidence is. It's God plus confidence equals Godfidence. You and I are both very familiar with the word confidence and confidence is extremely important in this life as a believer, as a business person, as a wife, as a husband, as a son, a daughter, as a student, whatever endeavors you have in life, whatever positions you hold in life, whatever paths you pursue in life, confidence is key because you can't really succeed in this world without a great deal of confidence. 
Confidence is not a bad thing. Here's what most people don't recognize. Confidence is nothing more than arrogance under control. <laughs> I'm going to say that again. Confidence is nothing more than arrogance under control. Now, we never want to be arrogant. Because when we're arrogant, we are moving in the spirit of the enemy. When we're arrogant, we are really moving in the spirit of the flesh. But God says, I want you to have that confidence. I want you to have confidence, though, not in your flesh, not in your bank account, not in your college degrees, not in who you are, not in your title, not in what you live in, not in what you wear. God says, no, 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 no. I don't want you to have confidence in any of those things. If you're going to have confidence, have confidence in me have confidence that you understand me have confidence that you know me when you get to that level of confidence of understanding god and knowing god then guess what you have achieved and guess what has been transacted into your life godfidence because god plus confidence equals godfidence here's the question today how well do you know god and i will tell you this i have been in church a little bit and Church folks love to claim sometimes how well they know the man. I know the man. Well, let me tell you something. How well you know God is not revealed in what you say. Let me say that again for the folks in the back. How well you know God is not revealed in what you say. Absolutely not. How well you know God is revealed in how you live. How well you know God is revealed in how you are navigating this current coronavirus situation. How well you know God is revealed in how well you handle pressure and how well you handle setbacks and how well you handle difficulties and how well you handle disappointments. That's what reveals how well you really know God. And I see a whole lot of people who claim they know God during the good times. But when trouble comes, they act like they don't know the man. They act like they don't understand God. And I tell you this, I'll help you understand God. I'll help you get to know God. Here's who God is. God is Romans 8 and 28 all day, every day, 365 days out of the year, 24 hours of the day. God is Romans 8 and 28. What is Romans 8 and 28? Romans 8 and 28 says, and now we know knowledge, peep that, that all things work together for our good. <laughs> and they are working together for those who have answered the call of God. So you got to recognize that's God. Romans 8 and 28. When you have confidence, knowing that all things work together for your good, then you don't have to trip. You don't have to slip. You don't have to tip and you don't have to dip because you know, hey, God is working it all together for my good. So the level at which you know and understand God is always revealed in how you live your life. I think about a child and I've seen a child do this because I remember my children doing it. A child will leap off the roof of a car into his father's arms or a child will leap, leap off the roof of a car into his mother's arms. You know why the child does that? I call it dad fidence or mom fidence. That's confidence in dad and confidence in God. Let me ask you a question. Are you leaping? Or are you scared? Are you trusting? Or are you rusting? <laughs> come on, come on. Are you stepping by faith? Or are you too busy trying to navigate by sight? See, this is a day and age where we must declare that we know God and we understand God. And I know God loves us. I know God cares for us. I know God takes care of his children. I know God is faithful. I understand that all things work together for my good, so we ain't never scared. Nah, we too full of faith to ever entertain the ideal or the thought or the theology of fear. Why? Because we know God and that's what we will boast in. We will boast that we understand God. We will boast that we know the Lord and we will give God glory because he loves to see his children who have the Godfidence in him to know that when you're in God's hand, everything works together for your good. Well, listen, have a blessed day. Join us this Sunday at the Freedom Church. If you're anywhere near Warner Robins, Georgia, get a piece of this wisdom and knowledge. 11 a.m. this Sunday, 820 North Houston Road, Warner Robins, Georgia. Your life will never be the same. We walk by faith, not by sight, and we refuse to entertain the ideal or the theology of fear. You make sure you have a blessed day, no matter what comes your way. 
because this is the day that the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it.